Here we go. We got a Holly 4780, 800 CFM, square bore. That means all four barrels are the same size and it's got the square bore bolt pattern. Five and an eighth by five and five eighths. Got Chevrolet, Chrysler, or Ford linkage. You can bolt a kick down thing. It's a manual show. Boop, 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 boop. You can go down to the donut shop and tell them you've got a double pumper, man. They probably won't even want to race you. All right. We've already, we've already set the mixtures, which is here and here. And we've got a vacuum over here. So if you need to hook up your distributor, your windshield wipers, or your radio, whatever you want to hook it up to it, you got vacuum. Now when this red light goes out, that means that computer has computed and calculated the exhaust going out. And that one there is sitting on 11 and a half parts of uh, air to one part of gas. Uh, no, uh, that's a very good mixture, somewhere between 11 and a half and 12 and a half is a good place. As you accelerate, you notice it thins out. Why does it thin out? Because you don't need as much liquid gas to propel you down the road. You do. Then we're going to wrap it up a couple times and we're going to check fuel pump pressure. Well, we're not going to free rev it anymore and blow our motor up just to show you that it works. But we're going to come over here and do a fuel pump check. We're not actually checking the fuel pump, we're checking the carburetor to see how much, how much fuel pressure it can stand. Now, if that, if that fuel pressure drops down, way down here to about 8 parts, you're going to have to put a regulator on it. Well, you can see this in here. Whoop! Wrong switch. I did it turning the pump switch. I turned the I turned the, the ignition. Well, you see how easy it started back up. That was a good demonstration there. All right. We're, we're, we're either down this just a tad. Looking pretty good there. Let me just put the pressure back to it. There's a good carburetor. Okay, there's it. There it is. I don't know what else to tell you about it. Oh, by the way, you don't get that fuel line. That's, that's for our testing. You don't get this motor. You don't get that computer. You don't get my hand and my green jacket. You don't get the guy with the pet camera. You don't get anything. You don't even get this gate. You get the carburetor. And it's super duper tight. There's your fuel adjustments right here, and you got a little thing here. You're not supposed to monkey with them, but if you ever have to, you turn that up and down till the gas just barely dribbles out of there. Then you tighten them back up. A lot of people do it with it while it's running. There you go. Go buy it.